So where are we? Where are we? That's a really interesting question. We're <laughs> at the side of what lock are we at the side of? Loch Lomond, isn't no, it? No. Well, it's not Loch Lomond. No. Oh, no. Well, I was about to announce it was not Loch Lomond. So no. we're in. Loch. No. I'll ask. Um, so. Ask where? Loch Fine. Loch Fine. 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 Loch Fine. Fine seafood. Oh, right, right. So. It's a sea lock, lock fine. And there's a really good view just round that corner. Because <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, that's why I saw it. So there you have it. It is lock fine. And there's me thinking I'm at Lock Lomond, but. You were asleep during Lock Lomond. Time. I was asleep during Lock Lomond, apparently. <laughs> See, blink and you miss it. <laughs> Can you get it right? It's loch. It's loch, is it loch? Right, so uh, introduce us to the uh, the language policy of uh, of Scotland. You 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 were complaining about the uh, the garlic. Gaelic. <laughs> the Gaelic, isn't it called garlic? Isn't that no, the actual pronunciation? Well, I don't know. Everybody yeah. in Glasgow calls it garlic. <laughs> Gaelic, right? And uh, and in fact, you 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 speak Doric. Yeah, the North East or traditionally spelled Doric, not Dalek. There you go. So, and and that's a, uh, a an old, old English, uh, well, or Scots, Scots old, language. Yes, yeah, so it's a Sassanac language. It's a Lowlanders. If you say so. That's right. But it's still spoken here and not yeah. down there. Yeah, they, they didn't speak uh, Celtic, yeah. a Celtic language here. Yep, don't know. Oh, look, Celtic. So, there you have it, politics. So there's a little castle up on the hill. And there's a little castle up on the hill. Yes. The, the language politics of Scotland is, is uh, well, basically invented, isn't it? To, to try and annoy the English. Annoy the English. <laughs> and half the Scots. Because there was only 50% voted uh, for independence. Not even that. Less than 50%. Less than 50% voted. That is stopping Nicola having another go. Yeah, I know. But it, it, well, given the situation back uh, in London, I'm, I, I would be surprised if they, if they won this time. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a table for four and Nita. Nita. Just to let you know that we're in Scotland. It didn't matter what you were telling us because they hadn't actually switched on the recorder. <laughs> right. We're at Inverary and I know nothing. So I'm going to find out some fascinating history. <laughs> Here's the castle at Inverary. And like a lot of Scottish castles, it was probably, uh, well, sort of not originally like this, uh, probably developed in relation to reading Walter Scott. 
what do you reckon? 19th century, after reading Ivanhoe or something, they decided to design this castle. These are the Campbells. The, uh, the castle of the Campbells at Inverary. Inverary Castle. The Campbell clan go way, way, way back. Um, sort of 11th century, sort of. Like a lot of these things, they go way, 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 way back. But you actually find them sort of really emerging in the form that we understand as clans round about the 17th century. And unfortunately, Duke of Argyll, because the, this is Argyllshire, and that's what, where the Campbells ruled, um, they got, well, they supported Oliver Cromwell. And in fact, they seem to have supported the English quite a, quite a lot. Except they're supposed to have supported Robert the Bruce. Uh, but having supported Oliver Cromwell, uh, come Charles II, they decided that they uh, were really royalists and went to London and I do believe, what was this, uh, Duke of Argyll the seventh or something like that. Anyway, went to London and the king had him executed as, as one would, despite the fact that he rather supported them. He was a royalist at heart, just was a covenanter, so therefore didn't really believe in a single church of England and Scotland, which is what uh, Charles I was wanted. But he didn't really approve of the execution of Charles I, but he did approve of the fact that the parliamentarians supported the Covenanters. Who were the Covenanters? They were Protestants up here. And, well, their influence is still around, particularly in the uh, Outer Islands and all that. But, uh, you know, we've moved on a bit since then, more or less. Who knows? And here's a shot of this, of the castle, which looks rather like something out of Provence, doesn't it? Rather French. Provence. French castle. Friends here were saying German. Oh, and German, yeah, yeah, I can see German. Oh, well, that, that's right, yes, I would say it's Walter Scott. It's straight, it's straight out of the uh, the novels of Walter Scott. Not your typical Scottish. Yeah. Something got to it anyway. Yes. But it took him 43 years to build it, so it really must have been pissing them off. You know, can't you put the roof on yet? When can I move in? 
God, this has cost me a fortune. <laughs>